infection, a respiratory tract infection. So, and before we get into this video, kindly do not watch if you have a weak stomach. My name is Wamboy, and this is Learn English with Kenyans. Today, I'm going to teach you what we call the thick mucus discharge that forms in your throat maybe when you have a sore throat or maybe when you have a respiratory tract infection and before we get into the video kindly don't don't watch this video if you have a weak stomach this video may cause you to dry heave or retch but for the purpose of learning this video is going to be very graphic so kindly bear with me so um what do we call the thick mucus discharge that forms here when you have a sore throat or maybe when you have a cold or a cough or a productive cough so the for example for those who cannot understand this is <coughs> <coughs> that kind they are sorry sorry for the graphics but this is solely for the purpose of learning so what do we call that thing? it's known as a sputum in my mother tongue it is we call it kekorora Gekorora, but in English, but in English it's sputum. Sputum. Do not say sputum. Do not say sputum. It's sputum. Sputum. Okay. Sputum. Sputum. Or we can also call it phlegm phlegm do not say plegme do not say plegme it's phlegm phlegm this word is pronounced as phlegm phlegm it's the thick mucus can be green can be yellow and quite yakish so it's known as phlegm or putum do not say do not say mucus because the difference between phlegm and mucus mucus is formed in the nose in the nose okay mucus in there is is, is is associated with the nose region but also mucus can be produced in the genital areas for example in the vagina during sexual intercourse or during ovulation in a woman so we can say the discharge okay but you can't say that she was producing you can say a woman was producing phlegm in her vagina no, do not say that. Do not say, I was producing phlegm in my vagina. Phlegm is strictly for the respiratory system, okay? It's for the respiratory tract. Do subscribe, like, and share so that this video can be recommended to more and more people who are learning English as their second language.